All right, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, let's get into some Las Vegas real estate trends. Let's do it. Makes your head spin Pretty as a new star Take it in some kind of magic. Before I start the presentation, I just want to give my pearl for the day. All right, here it is. To be fully in tune with your soul, you need to be able to go to a movie and a bar by yourself. If you haven't done it, do it. It's reinvigorating. I do it all the time. All right, here we go. I am currently in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a city I love and hate. I've been coming here a long time. So Las Vegas is a city that constantly changes. There's always projects under construction, master plan communities under development and steady building of new homes. You know, so we all know before the global real estate market crash in 2008, nothing could go up fast enough to keep up with the demand. After that time, things slowed down for a while. However, there is once again a good level of activity. So it is a good time to search for, for uh, you know, the best areas to live in Las Vegas because the prices are reasonable when compared to before uh, the values are increasing. I will say Las Vegas is a very convoluted market. and You have to be very careful. Uh, you know, Las Vegas, when we look at the history, it is growing and currently has a population of about 644,664. Las Vegas is the 28th largest city. And the state of Nevada is currently ranked sixth in the United States for its economic outlook. And uh, Las Vegas uh, is home to roughly 89.2% uh, U.S. citizens and roughly 20.2% uh, of city born uh, outside the, the country. So um, aside from English, you know, the growing Hispanic population speaks Spanish. Uh, Las Vegas was founded in 1905 as a railroad town linking Los Angeles to Salt Lake City. Farming was popular until 1931, roughly 32, uh, when the Hoover Dam started construction. That brought an influx of workers. Theaters and casinos were soon built throughout the city, largely by the mafioso mafia. Those were the good old days. So the electricity of the dam ultimately fueled the casino and hotels along the Strip. Howard Hughes arrived roughly in 1966. He deterred the mob's influence he turned the city into a more family-friendly tourist center. I miss those days when everyone used to dress up, the old days, the old casinos. There was just a smell in the air. So, Ali, you know, there's always something unique, odd, or fascinating happening around the city of Las Vegas. The city sees over 300 weddings every day among its chapels and drive through wedding venues. Casinos are just, you know, one of the major draws to Las Vegas. Take, for example, the MGM Grands. The bronze lion, it's among the largest bronze statues in the country. And despite the, its reputation as a gambling town, Las Vegas has a lot to offer. You know, Las Vegas is rated among the top in the nation for the fantastic food. The food is phenomenal here. I love the food out here. I find a lot of unique restaurants, of course, off the strip, downtown, what have you. Um, not just these casinos. So there's a lot to offer when it comes to that. So today, Las Vegas is still known as for its dazzling casinos, Broadway caliber stage shows, tourism, and all night fun. I like to be able to get up in the middle of the night, go get a coffee, what have you. You can do that here. Las Vegas has a slightly higher unemployment rate than other cities. We'll talk about that. However, booming industries, including tourism, hospitality, and gaming, uh, is going up. It's also a you know, growing tech hub, tech hub more importantly. Uh, companies are coming into the, the Vegas market. Now we have the new stadium here. We'll have to see all that pans out if that draws more people in. So are you considering a move to Las Vegas? Before you start apartment hunting, learn about the local rental market. Make sure you know the average rent in Las Vegas to get your bud to start it. I always recommend rent for a while before you buy. In some cases, it's not necessary to do that, of course. But, you know, it's a good idea to rent. Get a feel for the town. Unless you're a speculator, you know what you're doing. I have been, I have lived on and off in, in Las Vegas for 12 years. Sometimes I would be here roughly two weeks a month for up to two years from Los Angeles. And uh, I have owned and sold property in this market. I am currently invested in one development. 
I have a solid understanding of the real estate market in Las Vegas and always, I'm always, always monitoring the trends in this market. You know, I made one of my two mistakes over the last 12 years in Las Vegas. You know, I got emotional. I put a deposit down on a place. I, and after I put that deposit, I just didn't feel right. I felt sick to my stomach for like four days and went back to the development. And I said, I made a mistake. I want my money's back. They said, no. And of course, I'm a fighter and I got half of it back. Turned out moving forward down the road, that development tanked and lesson learned. So don't get emotional. Don't get emotional. So when we talk about the, uh, check out this chart with a national rent growth chart, give you a holistic understanding of the market and look at the, look at that chart and the, and the upward swing there. So that's a good sign. The, you know, the average rent in Las Vegas and rent price trends. So, you know, like I said, uh, you know, make sure you know the average rent and, uh, to do your, when you're, when you're analyzing the rents and the budgets and you can pull data off the internet, but also come out to that city and get a feel for what's going on. So when we look at this, the average rent for a Las Vegas studio apartment is roughly $1,107. The average rent for a Las Vegas one bedroom apartment is roughly 1538 The average rent for a Las Vegas two bedroom apartment is 1847 and the average rent for a Las Vegas three bedroom apartment is roughly $2,306. I've seen, you know, lower areas, depending where you want to be, uh, than these numbers right here. Um, so, but that is pretty much the, the, the general, um, when you look at these trends of the, uh, the rent growth. So when we talk about Las Vegas, you know, rents, they've increased roughly by 4.83% compared to last month and are up roughly 26.23% compared to last year. Uh, you know, take a look at this, the Las Vegas rent trends inventory by average apartment rent. So we look at the inventory by the apartment type. So 3% of apartments in Las Vegas cost less than a thousand per month. 71% uh, of apartments in Las Vegas cost between 1,000 and 1,999 per month. 21% of apartments in Las Vegas cost between 2000 and 2999 per month and 5% of apartments in Las Vegas cost over $3,000 per month. Three grand. Wow. We're, we're getting up to, uh, New York, New York levels. Um, now let's look at the apartment type. So kind of give an idea of, you know, Las Vegas rent trends when we talk about the apartment type. Um, so, 3% of the apartments in Las Vegas are studio apartments. 34% of the apartments in Las Vegas are one bedroom apartments and 44% of the apartments in Las Vegas are two bedroom apartments and 19% of apartments in Las Vegas are three bedroom apartments. So that's a pretty good breakdown. I think something else to consider because I want to talk about the employment um, data and, and, salaries compared to other areas. So when you talk about salary, what kind of salary do you need to live in Las Vegas? You know, everyone uses the, uh, you know, using the 30% rule. So, you know, that could give you a rough estimate of the salary needed to rent an apartment in Las Vegas. So if these numbers look high, remember that a roommate or two can drastically cut down your cost of monthly rent. If you're just starting out, I'm not just focused on investors here looking for people that are also trying to get an investing and buy their first home and they might have to start renting. So if you are renting an average price studio apartment in Las Vegas, your annual salary should be roughly around $39,000, $40,000 or higher. And if you are renting an average price one bedroom apartment in Las Vegas, your annual salary should be around $55,000 or higher. And if you're renting an average price two bedroom apartment, in Las Vegas, your annual salary should be around 66,492 or higher. So if you are renting an, an average price three bedroom apartment in Las Vegas, your annual salary should be around $83,016 or higher. So that's some serious cake. And uh, it's crazy how, how things have changed over the last 10 years alone. So keep in mind, if you are looking for a job, and this is what I want to talk about in Nevada unemployment, you know, Nevada's unemployment rate remains the highest in the nation last month. Officials said Friday. So the state unemployment rate is 7.7% in August, matched the rate in July, and led the country for the second straight month. 
according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. So Nevada's June 2021 unemployment rate of 7.8% trailed only Connecticut and New Mexico at 7.9%. Uh, you know, the silver state's unemployment rate has been, you know, at or near the top among 50 U.S. states and the District of Columbia since the pandemic took hold nationally in March 2020. So the next highest August unemployment rate belongs to, what do you think? California at 7.5% and New York at 7.4% as the country recovers from COVID-19 recession. The U.S. unemployment rate was roughly about 5.2% in August. So that's something to keep in mind because as I said, this is a very convoluted market. I'm seeing, I'm going to be looking at stuff today in the 1.1 to 1.3 that we're looking at. I think some of it's overvalued 100% right now. And right now I'm seeing price drops right now in Las Vegas, uh, not as many multi offers and stuff, especially over 800,000. And, uh, you know, they're dealing, you're seeing stuff come down. It's falling out of escrow. People aren't qualifying. And I have seen that in California too. It's, I think there's been a slight move towards the buy side, but out here, it's just, it makes me a little nervous, but I know it very well. And it depends where you buy and what exactly you want to do with this property. Um, because the key is, you know, you have, we, you know, I have a friend that has section eight and he has casino workers and his rents. He got five, uh, one bedroom, two bedrooms paid 35,000 cash. You had to pay cash for, them, and they've doubled. They're worth a hundred to 130,000. He's got rents in there, you know, let's say 600 to a thousand and they're casino workers. Some of them are section eight and they're paying. I always said you get these exorbitant places with high, high rent and you, you need someone to pay, you know, over 3000, 4000 a month. That, that makes me nervous when you're, when you keep your rent slow, depending on the market, you have to analyze the data, but out here, he hasn't had any problems with his renters. They pay, but if you start getting higher, higher rents and higher value places, it can be dangerous. Just, it depends on the market. So what I'm trying to say is I feel safe out here in that rent range when you have someone paying 600 to 1200 a month and you know, they got a section eight check coming in from the government. They got a steady casino job. Uh, and during the pandemic, he still had people pay in our development. You know, it, you know, things are looking good on the rent side as well, but you really have to analyze the market. So you are seeing with the stadium coming here, you are seeing some higher level companies come in here is a good thing. Um, but you know, a lot of the jobs are low end jobs. Keep that in mind. So yes, there's people out here that are buying second homes. They're out here part of the time, tax purposes, what have you. Uh, but the luxury home market, you know, it's sitting a little, sitting a little longer out here right now. And I'm, I've seen similar trends when I was coming out here in 208, 2009, it's just, it's just more convoluted and you have to be careful, but, I constantly study this market. I think Las Vegas is it, depending. There's a lot of reasons to invest out here. And I think it's a, if you do it right, you can make money out here. And uh, you just like anything, I'm just trying to emphasize, you have to be careful. You have to know the terrain out here. You have to analyze the data with, you know, the unemployment, what kind of companies are coming in here? What are the different areas of Las Vegas? You know, what exactly do you want? Are you looking to rent for a while because you want to buy? Do you already understand the market? Are you an investor? And that's something I can help you with. I understand the investment side. I've rented out here. I bought out here. I've made mistakes out here and I've learned from those mistakes. And I know people out here that work here full time. So if you're interested in a Las Vegas property, McClone Brothers and Concrete Real Estate Group can help you with that. All right, more to come in Las Vegas. Take care. Have a great day. Be kind, be safe, and be creative.